Okay, everybody, here we are, man. Back again. This is side two of ZZ Top's Fandango. Side one was excellent. Uh, I believe um, it's a split album where side one is the live and now side two is the studio stuff. So looking forward to it, man. Uh, side one was excellent. Great energy. Their uh, musicianship is crisp and it's clear. And uh, some acts are really fantastic live. ZZ Top is definitely one of those acts, man. So without further ado, let's check out side two. All right, man. ZZ Top Fandango side two. Let's get it. Excellent job. Excellent job. Everything has really come together for them on this third album. Covered by some of us. 
version is better.
if you're down in a cunha and you ain't up to being alone.
Drummond is great. Excellent job. Okay, man. So that concludes side two of Fandango. Fantastic album, man. Fantastic album. Off the top of my head, two questions, man. Got two questions for you. One, where does Tush rank among your favorite CZ Top songs? Because I know it's among your favorite CZ Top songs. You don't have to tell me that. Where does it rank for you? Is it your favorite? Is it in your top five? Where does it rank? That's one question. And um, the other question I'm going to ask is, what do you think about the contrast between live tracks versus studio tracks? Side one had live. And then, of course, side two they were all studio tracks. Overall, collectively, for you, this album, how does that appeal to you? Is it a distraction? Did it take you out of the element of the album? Uh, did you find that it was just too foreign of a mix? Uh, were you okay with it? Did you disapprove of, um, you know, one side being live versus one side being studio or it just didn't matter at all let me know about that i'm sure that um there are some interesting uh, uh sentiments uh, against that so uh you know i was just wondering about that i imagine that um there's got to be a couple of people that would probably have an issue with it that's why i'm asking but probably i'm guessing that uh, the greater majority probably would not but if you are one of those who might have issues with it, let me know. And let me know why, why that is. Um, overall, though, of course, great album, man. Fantastic album. And by this time, if you were um, with ZZ Top following them and, um, you know, taking part in their um, ascension, this is the fourth album now. And uh, you must be saying to yourself, wow, 
these guys are definitely here to stay for a good long while and they're well on their way to being not just uh stars because they're stars already but icons you know so yeah i imagine as a, a zz top fan back in the day uh you must have really really been uh very happy um with this particular album it seems to put a little bit of a cherry on top of a, a perfect cake already you know um all right man so what i'm gonna do here is um this of course is uh the end of side two and i'm officially going into the review portion of course where i do some reading and whatnot and uh go from there just assuming that i'm trying to get this up on youtube so uh let's do a little background here man and uh yeah i'm just uh i'm just going to uh the Wikipedia page for Fandango. Not a lot of reading. Uh, there's some album info, and then there's uh, All Music Music, All Music Review by Stephen Thomas Erlewine. I got a sneezing fit coming up. Hang on a sec. <laughs> okay, I'm back, man. So yeah, um, so let's do a little uh, read and a little review here, man. See what we can learn about this great album what the inspirations might have been, what caused them to go uh, and do the split between uh, live tracks versus studio tracks, and uh, just try and get a little bit behind the music as I like to do, man. So, <clears throat> Fandango. So, Fandango is the fourth studio album by American blues rock band ZZ Top, released in 1975. Half the tracks are selections from live shows, and the rest are new songs from the studio. A remastered and extended edition of this album was released February 28, 2006. The album title, Fandango, from, it, from which the album gets its name, is a type of dance similar to flamenco. About the background, uh, frontman Billy Gibbons said of the album, quote, the live capture wound up being in the can first. We had enough live material to make up one side of the disc, so we decided to go with the unusual move of making the album half live, half studio. It turned out to be a winning combination for us." Unquote. Okay, yeah, so, uh, and then there's a, a all music uh, review here, Stephen Thomas Erlewine. So Stephen says, quote, Blessed with their first full-fledged hit album, ZZ Top followed it up with uh, Fandango, a record split between a side of live tracks and a side of new studio cuts. In a way, this might have made sense, since they were a kick-ass live band, and they do sound good here, but it's hard not to see this as a bit of a wasted opportunity in retrospect. Why? Because the studio side is a worthy successor to the all-fine Tres Hombres, driven by Tush and Heard It on the X, two of their greatest songs that build on that album by consolidating their sound and amplifying their humor. If they had sustained this energy and quality throughout a full studio album, it would have been their greatest, but instead the mood is broken by the live cuts. Now these are really good live cuts, and Backdoor Medley and Jailhouse Rock were fine interpretations, making familiar songs sound utterly comfortable in their signature sound, and Fandango. And Fandango remains one of their better albums, but it's hard not to think it could have been even better." Unquote. So that's a review by Stephen Thomas Erlewine. Yeah, so, hey man, just kind of going back to my question there, uh, are you uh, of the opinion that they should have done um, either a straight live album um, and not kind of amalgamated the two like that, like the way they did? Like uh, this guy, Erlewine, he believes that it would have been much better if it was all studio or maybe all live. I'm thinking he's leaning more towards all studio. So again, that question, what do you think, man? Do you think that uh, in his opinion, uh, just like in his opinion, that it hurt them a little bit 
uh, or it doesn't matter to you or you actually like the format so give me some feedback about that uh, it'll be interesting to see what you guys have to say about that personally I think it's fine I think uh, the contrast is all good I think it's interesting and especially if it's kind of like maybe one of the first uh, and uh, a lot of people aren't used to uh, hearing something like that it's just new it's different so hey there's definitely enough really really good uh, songs let's say on the back end with Tush and all the other great songs inside too to make up for what you might have been missing uh, because it was the live I know that some people don't like live um, tracks but those are really really excellent live tracks you know but all the same maybe you just don't like to have your live mixed with your studio and that's perfectly fine let me know about that really really good question for um, for this particular album uh, yeah man so it's it's a short short amount of information here not a lot of info uh, overall great album I really like it very much I would definitely listen to it uh, again and again and definitely these guys are following up with their first three albums and really really making a very very strong statement that they are here for a while They've got more to offer. This is just a taste of what they of what is uh, yet to come, and they are just going full on, you know. So yeah, like I said, if you were a ZZ Top fan back then, watching this, being a part of this, going to see them, and following along, you must have been very, very pleased and excited for them, and uh, very excited for what is to come. Probably couldn't wait for um, the next album to drop, type of thing, you know. Uh, yeah. So speaking. Um, about the next album man sorry let me just uh, see what the next album is called here I'm still on the uh, Wikipedia page here uh, Tejas is that how you pronounce it Tejas T-E-J-A-S released a year after Fandango 1976 so I'm gonna hit Tejas um, preferably hopefully tomorrow uh, if not, definitely um, by late in the day tomorrow when I get back from work. But it'll be sometime tomorrow. Definitely sometime tomorrow. We're, um, I'm shooting this on the 12th. So hopefully it's going to upload right away. If not, it might take a day doing that stupid loop thing that it's caught up in. We'll see. And um, But I, uh, I'm at least on point where uh, my goal is to get all eight albums in all the way up to Eliminator. So I'm on point. If there's no other distractions, I should be able to get all eight of those albums in. That's my goal for the month of um, March. Anyways, man, that's my reaction. That's my review. Love the album very much. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm still on their page here. Fandango was, um, uh, it reached gold in the US and Platinum in Canada. So very, very successful album, man. Fantastic. And uh, in fact, I'm looking at their whole studio uh, discography here and pretty much every single album that they've done uh, has reached gold or platinum. So yeah, man, I'm telling you, a very, very successful run. So I'm looking forward to all of these other albums as we go along. Anyways, man, that's it for me. You guys have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you in my next ZZ Top reaction, which is uh, Tages. Have a good one. Peace.